I'm Deborah Bortart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. It was a short trading week due to the Memorial holiday on Monday. However, there were still some earnings to report. MedMen warned that COVID had affected its sales beginning at the end of March, although the company said that as restrictions have begun to lift, the sales look like they are ramping back up. The company reported revenue of $45 million in the third quarter and a net loss of $76 million. Now those losses have been trimmed a bit from the $96 million in the previous quarter. Zenerva Pharmaceuticals announced positive top-line results from the exploratory open-label Phase II Bright study. The trial was designed to assess the safety, tolerability, and efficacy of the Zenerva drug called Zygel in pediatric and adolescent patients with autism spectrum disorders. So great news there. Organic cannabis company, The Green Organic Dutchman, reported revenue of $3 million for the first quarter of 2020, ending March. Now the company also delivered a whopping net loss of $73.4 million. That is a lot when your revenues are so small, but at least it was an improvement over the fourth quarter's net loss of $144 million. Tilray's wholly owned subsidiary, Hyde Park Gardens, is going to be closing their doors over the next six weeks. The company said that they expect to realize annualized net savings of about seven and a half million dollars. Now Tilray, you may recall, acquired a company called Natura Naturals in a deal valued at $35 million. They have since operated it as Hyde Park Gardens. We have some stock housekeeping changes this week. Afria decided to throw in the towel on its listing at the New York Stock Exchange and they're moving over to the NASDAQ. That's effective Friday, June 5th after the market closed. The ticker is not changing there. Aletheia Health though has changed their Toronto Stock Exchange ticker from ALEF.TO to just AH. It will remain the same on the over-the-counter exchange. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Bortart reporting for the Green Marker Report.